Well, joining us now to discuss Morocco's historic run at the FIFA World Cup is Amin Rad, who rides for Lamartin. He joins us from Mohamedia. A very good afternoon and welcome to Newsroom Africa. I saw as you heard your coach, uh, Reguagui, speaking, uh, there was a big smile on your face. Did you expect what happened on Saturday? Oh, certainly not, because there was a very... Big win for the Moroccan team. This is the first time ever uh, an African team, an Arab team, reached this uh, this stage of the competition. This is a big achievement for the, uh, the football in Africa and also in the Arab world. What was the kind of reaction like in Morocco on Sunday? Well, well it was uh, an explosion of joy. Everybody went on the street. There was uh, joy everywhere. People went out on the street at the very late hours uh, during the, the night. It was a very special moment, and a historical moment, a historical moment for all the, the Moroccan people, and also for the African people and uh, people in the Middle East, in the Arab world, everybody who, who, who were behind the Moroccan team during this, uh, this, this game against uh, Portugal. Can you give us a little sense of what is actually happening in Morocco at this moment? As you've seen the team progress, has there been an effort from the National Football Association to put up fan parks or to have people gather in certain fan zones or anything like that? Of course, in a, mostly every town there is a fan zone with a big TV screen where they can, they can, uh, people watching the game. And also in the coffee shops here, coffees uh, every, everywhere. People are just waiting for for the match uh, against France. This is uh, going to be a very big rendezvous for everybody because Morocco have a revenge to take uh, uh, from France. You know, this is uh, that's why it's very intense. You know, all the people on the streets, everybody speaking about the, the game. This is uh, something that uh, never happened in the, the Moroccan uh, football history. There are many people outside of Morocco trying to unpick what are the keys that actually uh, unlocked Morocco's success at the FIFA World Cup, not only for the country, not only for the Arab world, but also for the African continent. Journalists say that it's the investment that was made by the king uh, from 2009 that has made all the difference. Uh, but this team are playing with the kind of spirit that money just can't buy. Well, this team is playing with the spirit because the coach, the new coach, uh, Walid Regrain, knew how to get the best of every player. Uh, he's, uh, uh, he's a man who can, uh, you know, he knows how to, to give the player the, the, the power to, to do a lot of things. And also there, there is a lot of investments in the football in Morocco, you know, since uh, the, the early 2000s. There were a lot of projects also with the, the build of the Academy uh, Mohammed VI. Uh, which is uh, they produce a very a lot of players who play now in the uh, in the Moroccan team, uh, such as uh, Unahi or uh, Agard. Uh, this is a, this is a, this kind of, this kind of achievement. And also, there is a lot of players from the the, the, the local championship, uh, like Banoun, like Riamir. The, this is uh, this is a, a lot of work that's been done in uh, in this field uh, since the last 20, 20 years. Uh, back in 2018, there were some rumblings that Morocco would uh, make a bid to host uh, the World Cup following what we've seen and their run in Qatar. Has there been any more conversation around this? No, uh, there is no more conversation about this, but the Morocco still want to host the World Cup. This is a, uh, this is a dream for, for, the, for the country. You know, Since the, the, uh, the beginning of the 90s, Morocco wanted to, to have... Uh, uh, the World Cup, we will close uh, for the 2020-26. We lose against America, uh, against the, the, the U.S. and also Canada and Mexico. And uh, there are people still talking about uh, Biden for the, for the World Cup uh, 2030. Can you speak a little bit more about uh, your coach, Walid Regwagui, who replaced uh, Vahid Halohozic uh, back in August? It looked like it was a fatal move made by the uh, National Football Federation to get rid of your coach so closer to a World Cup finals. But it certainly was an inspired move. But can you tell us uh, just why this coach uh, has been able to draw out from these players what he has? Because he's very close to these players. He's uh, even the. Uh, I'm talking about the age. He's 40, 47 years old. He know what's happening. He know what is uh, trending around. Uh, he know everything about this young generation, and he, and he created this, this spirit inside of the team. He's like a big brother to them, so that's why 
and, and on the same time, he can be very rigorous with them. Uh, when when uh, we, we talk about the working on the on the pitch on uh, or on the uh, training sessions, the, that's why they, they created this kind of uh, spirit inside the team, and that's pain on the pitch. It certainly is. It is not going to be easy, however, against uh, France. Uh, many people saying that uh, Morocco have done very well. They've inspired uh, the entire Arab world and the African continent. But this is perhaps where their journey ends against the defending champions. You as a Moroccan journalist, uh, you can wear both hats as a football journalist as well as a Moroccan. How do you see things playing out on Wednesday? Well, it's going to be a, an open game. Uh, France is defending uh, their title, as you said. Uh, but Morocco is going to be very hard to play. Uh, Wade Rugrat is certainly going to play the same, uh, the same tactic against France as, uh, as were the other games against Portugal, Spain, or, or Belgium uh, with, the, with, the low, uh, with the low block uh, in defense. The, the problem here in Morocco is the, the, the physical ability of some certain players because the intensity of the matches were very high during these last games. Uh, and there is some uncertainties uh, regarding uh, Romain Seis, who is the, uh, the captain of this team, and also the very, 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 uh, very important key in the uh, Regregi uh, game in, uh, in defense. He said, uh, his, uh, his, uh, his uh, president in Angers uh, club said that he gave him some uh, very good news uh, last uh, Saturday. He told him that he was going to fight to be able to play against France. Um, for for the, the the other players are suffering of injuries like Ed uh, or Mizrawi, but I think in this stage of the competition, this is the state of mind. I mean, the state of mind, how you're gonna play it against France, and uh, and the and the motivation you know, of the players are in expectation are very high. I mean, Rod, for Lamartine chatting to us from Mohamedia. Thank you very much uh, for your time here on Newsroom Africa, Moroccan journalist, uh, speaking about what has been an absolutely incredible run by the Moroccan nation at the FIFA World Cup. In